Hello, welcome back to the next installment in the UC9 video series. Today we're going to talk about URI dialing. What is it? Why do you care about it? And how does it work? So, what is URI to begin with? Uniform Resource Identifier, URI. It is changing the way we're going to dial each other. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at the way we dial each other today. Let's say you're at home, you got an analog phone at home, you pick up the phone and you dial six, seven, eight, four, five, six, six, nine, eight, six. Okay. What is that number? That number is my receptionist here at AdCap, but let's break it down. That's your area code, right? North American area code. This guy here, he is going to be your office code or your CO. So he's your office code. And this is your subscriber number. It, the telephone company today uses these numbers to route your call from your originating location across the telephone company to the correct CO out to the right subscriber. Make sense? We've been doing that for a while. What is URI dialing? What's got to do with this? Well, this is the way we do it today. As we get into URI dialing, we inter introduce the concept of routing a call based on a host name and a domain. So what do I mean by that? So this is one way to reach my receptionist. Here's another one. We can do reception at adcapnet.com. Okay. We're all familiar with this, aren't we? What is that? That's an email address. That's what we're used to. URI dialing takes the idea of dialing a number from a traditional phone number and turns it into dialing an email address. So that's what URI dialing is. Dialing you by an email address. Does that kind of make sense? So why do you care about this? Well, the first thing that you'll notice is this is the beginning of the end of the telephone numbers as we know them. Right? We'll uh, start transitioning away from this type of dialing to this type of dialing. Why? Now I don't need to remember a ton of different numbers. What's your home number? What's your office number? What's your cell number? What's your other cell number? I don't need to know any of that. I just need to know what's your ID. Once I've got your ID or your URI, I can then decide when I call you, what service am I trying to use? I may send a request to your URI asking for a video call. Your endpoint may answer back is, I can't do video, but I can do audio. Okay, we now have an audio call. I'm getting away from the traditional and moving more towards one identifier to be able to reach you. And our endpoints will negotiate the service or the type of communications that we can do. Does that make sense? Other reasons you care about this. This world is tied to where you currently are. Right? If you think about it, I'm going across the telephone company's network down to a local CO or central office who's then handing it to you. Okay? That number is tied to that CO. Unless I do some kind of remote call forward or something along those lines, it lives in that CO. This world, I'm resolving down to an IP address. What does that mean? That means geography doesn't matter anymore. You can be anywhere in the world. If I can hit you by an IP address, I can talk to you. That kind of makes sense? And since we are based on IP address, I now can determine the service that I want or the type of communications by the endpoint. I can request, say, video. If you can do video, great, we've got a video call. If you can't do video, you may respond back saying, well, I can do audio. Okay, great, we've got an audio call. So I'm starting to consolidate everything down. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, so that's, one of, that's why you care about it. How does it work? All right, well, let's talk about that. Not as complex as you think. So we are all used to email, right? We're used to the idea of email and web browsing, correct? So you're on your LAN, you've got your PC. He's got some kind of connection out to the internet. And you're going to go to a web server out here. How does that work? Well, how that works is you open up www.adcapnet.com. 
it sends a request out to your DNS server. DNS responds back with, here's the IP address where you need to go. You're going to go out to that IP address and retrieve that information. On this end, you're going to come through, you're going to hit the firewall. Firewall is going to then look at what service are you requesting. In this case, you're requesting email. Once you get that email, or I'm sorry, web server. In this case, in this case you're requesting a web server. So you're going to come out, hit this firewall, it's going to ask for port 80, you're going to get a redirect, and you're going to talk to that web page. Pretty straightforward, we've been doing this for years. Same thing with email. When I send you an email, you're going to get DNS of where my domain is, at cabinet.com. You're going to send a message over to my, through my firewall to my infrastructure and say, I've got this message at adcapnet.com for this person, that host ID. We're to take that host ID based on the port for SMTP and we're going to give it to the correct inbox. Okay? As I said, we've been doing this for many, many years. So when you look at URI dialing, it's the same concept. Now the concept is, I've got this video endpoint. Right? Let's call him a video endpoint. When I dial, say, reception at adcapnet.com, I'm still going to use my DNS. I'm still going to resolve where is adcapnet.com. I'm going to get an IP address. I'm going to send my request over to that IP address requesting a video call. So based on the ports that it comes in, it'll go to the correct server. So similar to the email that went to the email server, this will go to my video server. So in my case, a VCS, VCSE. So now I can redirect that call over to the right endpoint over here. And I now have a video call back in. So how did I get there? I got there by URI dialing. I don't need to know what your phone number is. I don't really need to know what your IP address is. I need to know what your email address is or your URI. And we send that request over based on domain. We'll strip out the host, send it to the right server, and we'll get a negotiation between the two for a capabilities exchange. Does that make sense? Cool. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.